Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Country Cuz Music and CountryCuz.com here. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking lap steel. This is uh, one of my lap steels. This right here is tuned in Oak Me, and that is uh, E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. And that's from the big string over to the little string. Also, when you got a lap steel guitar, it's best to have the heaviest strings you can find to put on them. Uh, that way, when you're playing, you ain't bending the strings all the way down to the fretboard. Okay, I'm using a volume pedal. I use it a lot to do swales and stuff. lap steel is a great fill-in instrument and it can be also a great lead instrument. Uh, I use it on just about all my recordings, this or a dobro. I got my dobro also tuned in old me. I just like that tuning. Sometimes I do a uh, open uh, D. But anyway, what I want to tell you today is whenever you got your lap steel tuned up in this E tuning, open tuning on this E. I, if you play in a one, four, five chord song, which is probably 95% of the music out there today wrote, it goes like this. So what I want to tell you is one of the secrets to learning how to transpose. Of course, uh, you need to go to Google and get you uh, the Nashville number system. They got it in Google uh, Images. Uh, anyway, hold me is your one chord. To get to your four chord easy, you count six down. And of course, that's going to be one, two, that's an F, three, F sharp or G flat, whichever one you want to call it. But anyway, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's your four chord. And then six, seven, eight. That's your five chord in the Nashville number system. That being said, it applies to the whole neck. Let me demonstrate again. This time, let's say the band said, well, we don't want to play that in E. The singer wants to play it in G. So when you go down to your G note, and the cool thing is you can go E, F, F sharp, or G flat, and there's your G. Your four chord is still six away. You're in a G. Your next chord's gonna be a C. Count six up. which is your five chord in that progression. That's eight, eight up from G. G and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about it that's true if you're in the A chord well the four chord in the A position of course is your D and that's six frets up then your five 
chord is going to be eight frets up, which is going to be an E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now I like to use uh, slide ins. Oh, and by the way, I know it's been said a million times, but when you play in the lap steel, the bar, your tone bar goes right over the fret, not behind it, right over. You hear the difference? But I like to slide in from the fret above it. Sometimes I slide below. Hear how that sounds? One up, one below, one above. Also, I don't use finger picks because I'm used to playing a guitar. I hold a pick like that and I pick with my fingers up. Now, a good way to practice that thing, of course, I'd advise you if you're going to play this for your main instrument to learn to use your finger picks. But, and also, you got to need to learn how to do palm mute and also you got to learn how to roll on to your notes. Let me uh, demonstrate that. We're going to roll on to a G. It, well, and I can kind of staccato the notes like a lot of technique you get used to it I love sliding into my notes let's play in a, let's go back to a G and we'll start up here above the G and uh well let's go all the way up here to the F that sounds but now let's say that same G you have to reverse what I was showing you about one fret to the six of A to A which is also your one chord your four chord and your five chord in the Nashville number system alright let's reverse that now we got another G down here go to the full chord which is a C it ain't six away no longer because you're sliding back this way it's gonna be eight away all right the five chord is your D is six down, I guess you could call that down because the notes get uh, lower. So going down, it just reverse from what I told you. But the notes are still in the same place. So that way you can transpose anywhere. Also, with uh, more advanced uh, lessons later, but right here is your G. Also, you can do slants. Just like that. to 
do that though. Just playing a good melody with. subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm gonna be putting some more uh, video lessons up there and I will be putting this on countrycuz.com I want to thank everybody for stopping by today and I sure do hope that I help someone out there and I'm gonna be back out in the shop today I'm building a new lap still today a six strings gonna have a fender style pick up in it and uh, also I took my router and I've routed out and hollered out under the fretboard and right here at your uh, A and B position I've got it wider and then down at your 12th fret on your E I've got the hollering router and <clears throat> that gives it a great sound anyway if you like the video hit subscribe be checking back with me we going be coming at you more and then go check out uh, my parts that I'm selling on countrycuz.com and also you can check out used gear on reverb.com. Anyway, countrycuz.com appreciates everybody for stopping by today. Hope y'all have a great day out there and I hope everybody plays some music.